Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I am the founder and CEO of Daughter of Increase Ministries, that is DOI Ministries, and here on this channel, I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God and Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And I do that by posting twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and occasionally on Tuesdays. And so, as the title says above... This is another coffee haul. And we we not we not gonna get into like the, the whys in the house. Um we, we just gonna say that Friday my mom bought me my Nespresso Vitoro um plus machine. Yay! So I already have it set up. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I have it set up already in the spot that I had already kind of pre-planned for it to go. And a lot of you guys know that I was already on the fence about getting it. Um, my mom and I were debating on getting it, and so we saw it at Walmart cheaper than what it was originally because they had their Black Friday sales going on early, and so she got it for me. Yay, me. And so I do have um, their... Let me, let me try to grab it without all my stuff over here falling. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I think I did it. I did it. Cool. So it did come with the... Um, what is this? The little taste test um box sampler box that's what it's called right but today i went out with my sis and she is on the bed y'all might hear her say hi hi there she go <laughs> so we made a clip earlier and i'll try to probably like insert it here so you guys can see we did make a clip earlier but um we was in a call and we had these cookies and it was nasty and they both they, it made us both nauseous it was it was this cookie here i knew i eat it this here it's, it's a peppermint Cake batter. Peppermint cake batter cookie. It's soft, chewy. Um, it was good. And then for some reason, I got nauseous. I thought my nausea was just based off the migraines, but then she was also nauseous. And so, I'm I'm just not gonna eat it. It was good though, but I don't I don't think it was a good mix. So yeah, it was from Home Goods. But yeah, I needed to go to Home Goods. Well, I wanted to go to Walmart after going to Nespresso. So, so let let me let me rewind myself back. So we went to the mall. You guys know it's Monday. Mental Mondays. Um, which is basically I have my mental days where I'm like doing a work and then also she comes and we do one on my Bible studies And so the plan was to go to the mall just chill out Bible study Kind of sort of did that kind of sort of didn't because it was it was getting crowded and people were out and um I don't like people she don't like people <laughs> And it got it got a little crowded a little crowded um everybody was out you know holiday season and everything like that And so we ended up Well OCD kicking in Oh okay This sticker is centered and this one isn't it's okay so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what she's doing for me in a second because it's part of the haul but um yeah so we went to starbucks we sat down we were supposed to do bible study we originally started that and then we ended up getting into a whole conversation and then i went to nespresso so i do have a big haul for the two here for you guys but after that i went to i wanted to go to walmart to get cookie jars because i wanted the big clear cookie jars um but i couldn't find them at dollar tree i had got small ones so i'm gonna use the smaller ones for something else but um probably use them for like pen holders at this point now but i had got the big ones but when we went there there was a marshall's and a home goods right by the walmart and so it was like a three-in-one type of thing but i said let me go to home goods never went to home goods went into home goods you guys the best trip ever okay so i got the um jars they come with the, the uh chalk sticker on it and she's actually writing on it for me so this one is where my original nespresso pods are going to go and it comes with the uh silver top and then the other one has like a black top on it and it's the same size same everything and so yeah i'm going to put all the pods in these two and stick them on the counter um to make it easier for myself right and then i got this <laughs> all right so the sprinkles in here are not really the sprinkles that come with it but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> um this is a mini mason jar gift set it was eight bucks um so about two dollars each and we we're not gonna talk about what's in here. We we I'm gonna just take it out and show you guys the ones that I put in here, um, for the ones that I wanted. And so, they do come with like the candy sprinkles, but I don't I didn't want those. I don't really like those candy type of sprinkles. And so this one has um candy canes in it. I don't know if they're peppermint or not. Oh, I just dropped some. I don't think they're peppermint, but they're sprinkles. They're just candy cane sprinkles on it. This one is snowflakes. 
this one is supposed to be holly berries in the leaves. And then this last one is going to be the Christmas trees. And so I wanted all of the actual sprinkles and not like the little candies. So I think the other one was like little ornaments. They were like little round balls that I don't like. And then the other one was like green sparkles, which I didn't want. So I just wanted these. And so we did a little switcheroo, which was fine. Um, and so that's what I got, which I'm excited to put this on like my hot drinks. And stuff like that. So we got that and it was eight bucks. So two dollars per, which is not bad at all. trying to um i'm trying to close it up but it can't it's fine it's whatever um i did get this mancala it's really pretty i've been wanting to get mancala um my son wants to learn to play and i used to play mancala growing up in the 90s you know back in the day when i grew up in the 90s you know you played outside you did like the little outdoor um things events on the block and when my grandfather is living at currently they used to have black parties all the time you do a hopscotch mancala um street hockey and all that and so yeah I, my son wanted to learn how to play i wanted to get one from five below but they're ugly this is pretty and honestly when i saw it i looked at the box and i was intrigued by the box and then my sister was like oh my god man collar and so yeah i got it and this was only ten dollars um there we go so i have to reteach myself to play man collar because i haven't played man collar in years but um yeah i'm excited to have it um and play with him me and my sister are actually gonna play after we do bible study but um yeah then i got syrup so i love monin um you guys know from the one of the last hauls that i did for coffee i have bought a lot of monin syrups and i talked about how my favorite is definitely the lavender monin syrups love it however i am on my last bottle of lavender i have no more rose my family we go through the lavender and the rose like crazy the lavender i use in my lemonades and my hot chocolates and my coffees and my lattes everything the rose we specifically use in our um lemonades and so when we went tarani had four bottles literally just four bottles of lavender i took home four um and so i have four bottles of the lavender from tarani now i have not tried the tarani lavender however i have tried tarani's other sauces and syrups and so i hope it's good if not we're gonna make it work because it's lavender and i feel like you can't do wrong with lavender anyway so we're gonna do it so i have one two three that's three and the last one four so i'm gonna give my mom a bottle because she demolishes these all the time all the time but um i need it because I, I feel like lavender for me is a cozy drink for the morning for the evenings i love those and so now we're gonna talk about this nespresso hall don't judge me okay don't judge me yeah no i, I always look i always a little crazy um i have the advent calendar you guys know from the last while i have the advent calendar for the original line which i have all myself for the original line over here um now i have the advent calendar first of all let me show you guys the bag, the bag. and you know it's real when they give you the bag with the string um handle the other bag i have has like the little tweed paper handle so you know it's real um <laughs> so i have the advent calendar for the the Toro. Um, and I got it because I am I am thinking of doing Vlogmas and there is something specific that I want to do with Vlogmas concerning both the advent calendars. And so I have both. I have both. And this is also going to be a good way for me to try all the flavors that they have available to see which ones I like and don't like. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to own both the advent calendars now. So we have that advent calendar. I have no idea where this is going. We just going to stick it in front of me. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so we have that. Um... Then I got a bunch of pots, okay? So, I have never tried most of these. Um, I have tried a few. So, the ones that I did try, I'll share. Um, oh, my gosh. I didn't realize how many I got. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm trying to find the ones that actually go together, but I cannot these three go together okay sorry y'all we, we we looking for her we looking we looking i feel like i had bought more than i did but i guess i did not all right so the two that i've had before um the one that i love of course is the exotic lamina over ice or lamina over ice i got it for the vitoro um i have like five or six boxes for the original i absolutely love this but this one is a double espresso um shot if i'm not mistaken this one is double espresso 
So, yeah, 2.7. So, yeah, it's um, double espresso for this one versus the original. And I heard that this one is stronger because it is double espresso. And so I'm excited for that. So this was definitely a staple that needed to get got. It had to. Um, so we have that. I have to find where I'm going to put all these because I have no way to stick them. Um, then I got the pumpkin spice cake. I heard the pumpkin spice cake in the Vitoro was better than the original. Um, I tried it in the original. I'm not really a fan of it. Um, there's really no like pumpkin anything for me. So I'm going to try it in the um, Vitoro. And they did not have it on the website, but the one that I go to, the Nespresso Boutique I go to, had it. They had a few boxes left, and so I grabbed that. Um, and then I got all of the Biancos that they had. So... I got the Bianco Forte, which I know is an actual coffee. This one is a 7.7 .7 ounce. So this is a coffee. Um, and then I got the Bianco Dopio. This one... I don't know if this one is... The, um, I can't remember. I think this one is a double espresso. Possibly. Bianco Zofio might be the double espresso. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I have the Bianco Zofio and then I have the Bianco Piccolo, which replaced the Bianco Leggero. Um, I do, however, have Bianco Leggero within the sampler, which I'll share with you guys the sampler after I'm done. But in the sampler, Bianco Leggero is in it. And that's, what, that's the only reason why I opened it, because I wanted to make sure that was in there so I can try all three. So I do have a sample of that, but I know they no longer make that. Um... Then I got the Double Espresso Chiaro. I do love Chiaro. Um, I have that with the original line, so that's great. Then I got the Valtesso. Don't know what this is about, but I wanted to try it. I got the Altiso. Um, which one is this? This is the Melozio, which I've heard people talk about a lot. This one is a coffee, for sure, I know. This one is coffee. And then the Bavita. Um, I think this is one of the newest ones that they had, or the latest ones that came out. But this one has vitamin B12 in it. Um, it's a level 6 and it's a coffee. So I opted to give it a go. So we have that. Then I have the Biscellin kit. Um, which comes with two in the box. So we have that. And then I got the welcome kit for the Futuro. So you guys know that I have the original one. Which came with the cute little espresso shot glasses. And so this one is for the Vitsuro. So obviously when you open it at the top, you get the little envelope with the recycling bags inside. I don't need to open that. But, oh, I get the same drink again and the same thing. So you get um, the limited edition coasters, which I have been using mine. Um, I think these are the same ones, right? Let me see. Yeah, these are literally, this is the one that I had, and these are the other two. So, I have, they're the same ones, which is fine. I have two of each now. That's perfectly fine. Um, but, yeah, this one is the Musical Coffee Farm in Jardin, Colombia. I'm not going to read the back of it. You can if you want to. And then this one is the Turkish Coffee Customs on the back. And it comes with, obviously, a box of the coffee. So they gave me the um, Amaha Awa Uganda coffee. I do have it in the original line, so I don't mind having it in the Vituro. That's fine. Um, but the cups is what I really wanted. I'm sad it doesn't come with saucers because I know that the um, original line came with saucers. But these cups are so cute. If I can get it out the box. Get out the box. They're so cute. And it says Nespresso right on it. So y'all know when I make me a drink, I'm using these cups today like today and I love that it's glass because I can put my caramel sauce my white chocolate sauce all up in here so it doesn't say how many ounces this is but I'm excited so we have that it says uh the Vitoro mugs created exclusively by Nespresso by international acclaimed designer um Constantin Jurek I think that's how you say that but um yeah that is that let me stick these back in here so you guys can see how it came so that's that i just cut myself on the cardboard that is going to bother the mess out of me but yeah that is that 
So the plan is to set up the coffee station again for like the umpteenth time. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to clean the coffee mugs off and everything like that. Um, but yeah, in the sampler kit right here, it opens like this. And my sampler, I got my kit from Walmart. So um, this is what it looks like. So you get the Il Cafe. I believe this is Il Cafe. You get the Altisio um, as well as the Altisio decaffeinated, which I did buy an actual sleeve of the Altisio. Um, this one is the Goteso, which I also did buy a sleeve of. This one is the Double Espresso Chiaro, which I bought a sleeve of. This is the Bianco Leggero, which they no longer make. They replaced it with the um, Piccolo and the Dopio, which I did buy both. This one is the Gran Longo Fortado which is not on the website like it's not available on the app so I don't know what that's about I don't know if they're taking that out this one is the Gran Lago in Costa Rica and so we have all of these being espresso shots these two are double espressos these two are Gran Longos and the bottom ones are all coffee so we have Intenso we have Stormio we have Melozio and Colombia Colombia I do know what that tastes like I have the espresso shot from um, the original line um, Melozio I did buy a sleeve of and then the last two down here so I am going to use these first um, obviously but yeah I'm excited I am excited um, I really just cut my finger and so now we're just going to cut to a clip of me setting up the coffee station and then I'm going to make a drink and end this video there so yeah oh but I can show you guys the other container when she's finished <laughs> Doing this one. So here it is, and I kind of messed it up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> but um, you guys see, it says in the espresso before. Yeah, it just it just wipes off. See, at the end, by accident. It, it it was on your pants. Oh, it's definitely on your pants. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that, and then we have the original. If I can hold both at the same time. So I'm gonna just stick a few pods all the pods that i have i think in the kitchen are going to go in here um so specifically just the um ones for an espresso my other pods that are like from target or from starbucks i'll keep in like the small containers because i don't have that many of those but i have a slew of nespresso pods um and i know I, like i said I, I got a video i got asked so many times about my favorite pods from nespresso i know off the top tokyo definitely one of my favorites um let me know over ice definitely one of my favorites um Kiaro I kind of like but it's not a favorite per se um there's like a few so I'm gonna do like maybe my top 10 flavors or whatever but um yeah and both of these containers were only ten dollars which was a steal and so I'm going to go and get these cleaned up Oh, these are anyway it says rice sugar coffee and cereal anyway 152 glass ounce containers so Again, I got these from Home Goods. This was my first time at Home Goods today. If it'll focus, there we go. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Give my mom her bottle of lavender, and then set up. So yeah, maybe see if my sis wants to come help me because I am bad at decorating anything. I am horrendous, and so if she wants to help me fix the coffee bar, that would be helpful. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go do that so that me and her can have bible study before my son gets out of school and then i can make us some drinks ice coffees juice ain't got no juice boba oh boba so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make her a boba and chrissy if you're watching this this is the boba i had tagged you in on instagram it's the J Way boba in the fruity flavor this one is a passion fruit green tea it's so good it comes with three in a pack green tea? they're eight dollars no it's green tea but it's actually really good no, I I don't, but I really like this. So, this is really good, and I don't like green tea. Green tea tastes like grass to me, but this one is really, really good. Everything tastes like grass. Yeah. Matcha, green tea, grass. Matcha with caramel don't taste like grass. That's what I had last time. That was grass. Guys, try the mermaid frappe. Grass. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go do that, set that up, so I can get my room in some type of semblance of order, so that we can do Bible study, and I'll chat with you guys in a few. All right, guys, so here's the setup right now. You guys can see... Um, in this section, I had the little gold tray with the two white bowls, um, the tissues, and stuff like that. We moved that and put the Nespresso here, which it fits perfectly fine. I still dry my cups and stuff here. Um, and so, all of this is going to be switcheroo I have put the syrups at the bottom. 
So we have the Tarani syrups down here with the Monin syrups down here. And then back here, I have the smaller bottles of the Tarani. Well, this is a good and gather Target brand pumpkin pie, but then the Tarani ones are back here as well with extra boxes and my white chocolate. Um, and literally right above that, don't judge me, I have a buttload of teas and white hot chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, um, my sister's gonna help me organize this because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I do like my machine. I did clean it already. Um, I wiped it down, and so yeah, that is the plan. We're gonna fix this up. No, we're not. And that's She's another one. She's gonna help too. No, I don't buy. I should flip the camera and show both of them, but do I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, that is the plan. So. Okay, guys, so here's the final setup. Instant Pot, I actually just made a homemade boba. Turn it off. Um, I have my Starbucks cup here. These two mugs that I practically drink out of all the time. Um, and then underneath, I have some containers with the espressos in them, along with my espresso glasses. Um, this has some K-cups on it. I have my sauces and sprinkles on top with my um, extracts as well and then two big jars of the pods for the Baturo and the original and so yeah I'll have a full in-depth video but I wanted to show you guys that really really quickly that is the coffee bar set up over here I keep this here and this here and I'm gonna just always keep a cup there so that I know but that's it right there that is it obviously um this will change i'll get something for like christmas over here this just has some napkins some straws cups back there marshmallow cream and these are my mom's coffees from her job for the cake machine so um yeah that is that and then my mother's cafe Bustelos are back there i'm actually probably gonna move those up there but this is her favorite brand of coffee um but yeah that's that All right, guys, so it's a little bit later. It's actually 9 o'clock, and I um, am going to show you guys the coffee bar again um, a little bit more in depth and then make me a quick drink um, before I prepare to write my notes and stuff for a Bible study because I do teach Bible study for my church tomorrow. It's my day to teach, um, and we are going through the names of God. And so I have, like I said, I think I mentioned it earlier, I have... Um, Jehovah Shalom and Jehovah Shama, which is basically the Lord is peace and the Lord is there. And so um, those are my two words. And so I'm just going to do some light research on that tonight. I wrote a few things on my um, tablet, so I'm going to pull that out. But um, yeah, I'm going to quickly show you guys the coffee bar while everybody is quiet and gone. And um, then I'm going to make my drink. Ice, of course, and we're going to get to me doing the rest of my evening so um let's go to the kitchen i'm in my pajamas now um my little lemons i like these pajamas i need to get more of these um but yeah let's go to the kitchen all right guys so here is the coffee station like i said so this is the instant pot um three in one coffee maker this is not the updated one. The updated one has a different spout and there has there's a different button. This is the older one, but um, when you pop it open, it just has space for you to put your K-cups as well as your Nespresso pods um, from our original line. And up here, we simply have K-cups from our mom's shop, some napkins, um, straws, leftover Dunkin' Donuts cups. Um, we did outreach Saturday and so these were the, like the last two cups, so I took them home. And then some Jet Puffs Marshmallow Cream. I do put them in my drinks. Um, next to that, we have my Nespresso Baturo. Um, plus, on top, I have my Starbucks cup, which I'm actually about to use this specific cup. Um, but yeah, this is the black one. It's shiny. It's not the matte black, but it's a shiny one. Um, and then we have everything here. So let me move my cups. So these, I left these two cups out because these are the cups that I pretty much use quite often. Um, these two cups I got from Call to Create, who are twin sisters who make t-shirts and um, basically cups. Uh, I love their cups. I'm probably going to order a few more, but let me just move these quickly out of the way. I had washed out my Nespresso cups 
Um, so these are the Baturo Nespresso mugs that I got. And then these are the Nespresso espresso shot glasses that I got. And these came with just like the letter N on them with the saucers that are over there. But um, yeah, so I could actually put these up, but I don't have no space to put them. So let's just um <laughs> do that, move that mug out of the way. I'm gonna move the Nespresso mug in the front and move that out the way. Okay, so um, at the bottom, like I said, I have my shot glasses here, which I use for espressos. Um, so I basically use these for making espressos. Um, the two ounce shot glasses, pretty much. And this one is a shot glass specifically for espresso from the Nespresso brand. It came with two in my welcome kit along with these saucers. Um, but I like the saucers because it's like matte on one side, shiny on the other. Love them. Um, so we have that. So I just keep these here. And then in the front, I have these other containers that I had up here previously. This one has the leftover um, original line pods that weren't going to fit into the two big ones up there so i have a colombia um i think that's colombia in ethiopia yeah ethiopia nicaragua um peru organics is the green one frito um frito de la caro is that blue one that blue one up there is tokyo um and then the papau new guinea is this one right the gray one here um i don't know i think that one is stockholm that blue at the bottom that one is, I oh, can't remember. But yeah, these are just like extra ones that didn't fit up top, which I'll show you guys. And then I have my other espresso pods. So these, I believe, are Starbucks brands espresso pods. Um, then these are Good and Gather, if I'm not mistaken. Good and Gather. And then I have two more. If I can show you guys. <laughs> there are two more back there. Um, we have Good and Gather, Good and Gather, along with the um, Pete's brand. So we just have those back of the all. And so that's how I um, keep track of it all. So we're just gonna stack espresso shot glasses here, here, that one in the middle these right there on the side and so in the front of here i'm going to just keep these cups like this oh and then in this bin i forgot to show you guys there are cake cups um in there so a lot of the vanilla lattes and cappuccinos for my son and um some of my favorite hot chocolates from land and lake land lakes i don't think i can pull it out mm. My cocoa um, classics from Lando Leaks mint chocolate cocoa mix. I love that one. My favorite one. Um, so that's what's there. So I'm just going to keep these mugs here. Okay. And then up here, we have, like I said, um, the spices and things like that. So we have cinnamon sugar, we have ground nutmeg, we have pumpkin pie, we have cinnamon powder, we have the cinnamon toast crunch and cinnamon dust, I have white chocolate sauce from Tarani, Ghirardelli sea salt caramel and their white chocolate, I have pure vanilla extract back here, I have my sprinkles, so this one is Christmas trees, holly berries, snowflakes, and um, candy canes, and then I have a reusable cake up here, then I have pumpkin pie, um, spice blend extract, the maple extract, the almonds, and then strawberry. I thought I had mint, but apparently I don't. Um, yeah. So we keep those there, and I do pop like a few drops in my drinks if need be. And then behind here, you guys can see I have the um, two large 152 ounce containers with my Baturo uh, Plus coffee pods and then my original line Nespresso coffee pods and um it's packed it is packed to the brim <laughs> so I don't think I need to buy coffee for a very long time very long time and then back there I have my mom's cafe bustello my favorite latte my white chocolate mix is here and then this is just my ice maker um my ice tray that I need to actually fill up 
but um yeah the Batoro pods which we're gonna make then back here obviously are like the Tarani syrups the small bottles I have a set of glasses back here mugs back here and then um yeah that's pretty much it so I'm going to put this stuff back and then we're gonna make a drink and I'm probably going to use some of the sprinkles and stuff so I'll do that and come back to you guys I made me um, a quick iced coffee um, and I used the Nespresso um, sampler that they sent and specifically I use the Baltesso, Tiso, Tesso, whatever. Um, I was trying to make it aesthetically pleasing but it didn't come out right but I used the Baltesso that was here. Um, it shows up here. The video was not the best. Um, but the Baltesso is an espresso level 4 intensity. Um, I do have the box of coffee itself. Um, I did purchase a full box of the Baltesso, which looks like that. And um, this is a level 4. It is specifically espresso shots. Um, and the packaging, it reads, Why we love it, this is Baltesso, or Baltesso, a light and sweet Bertillo. Uh, Batuo, excuse me, espresso coffee that you might just make your golden standard. It's Brazilian bourbon coffee adds a biscuity aroma to the rounded mild Arabica coffee from the Colombian Highlands. Um, yeah, so that's all that it says on here. Um, and here is what the capsule looks like. It's really pretty. nice color um but yes that is the Baltesso um it's okay I think the creamer that I'm using I don't really care for it's sugar-free cinnamon bun um creamer which I don't like I prefer the cinnamon bun syrup which gives it more flavor which I probably should have threw in here and then I have a bunch of sugar in here um here's what that looks like I'm drinking it out of the mug I'm gonna end up having another shot because I'm going to do Bible, my Bible study anyway to prepare for my lesson. So let me actually go put the syrup in here quickly and then come back and let you guys know how it tastes with it. Um, I did add it. It's alright. It's not that, well, I think it's just the creamer that throws it off because um, it's sugar free, so. A little better. My son likes it. Um, he thinks it's a little better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the ball tesso. Um, and I think that is that. So I really want to try the Bianca Leggero, um, and the Il Cafe, and the Costa Rica, and then the Fortado. I'm, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, like a little Spanish accent. But um, the Costa Rica, the Fortado, the Bianca Leggero, the Il Cafe. I definitely want to try. I own um these already. Stormy a hold is I heard is very strong. So and these are coffee pads. So I'm definitely gonna try to use the box up first before I actually use like the actual pods that I have. But um yeah, that is it, guys. That is it, that is it, that is it. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and get my Bible study going for the night. Um my second cup of coffee. We don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do the double espresso Chiaro, which is this one here. The double espresso Chiaro. We'll probably do that one next. 
um, the Bianco Leggero, I'm going to save for a video. But the Double Espresso Chiaro, um, Chiaro, whatever you call it, I'm going to do that next because it looks really good. It sounds good. And I do like Chiaro um, or Chiaro from the original line. So the fact that this is a double shot espresso sounds like it's going to be really epic. And so, yeah, I'm going to go. And um, that is it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I know another coffee haul, the last one that will ever be done. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. So I'm going to finish drinking this. Um, and I'll chat with you all because I have a Bible study that needs to get done for church and so I'm gonna go bye